it's uh, the first weekend of August. It's probably pushing 8 a.m. I guess right now. Uh, got up here real early, checking out a, uh, another area that I wanted to go into. And real terrible light with all the fires, uh, a lot of moisture in there, a lot of graininess. I couldn't last 50 yards. It was bad. So I kind of punted on that idea and uh, decided to come over here where I set those first three cameras up um, back in May and uh, checked them again. Still, I mean, I'm getting some dink bucks and some does and a bobcat. Uh, no elk yet. And did catch a person walking by. I'm not that far off of uh, a well-known trail. So anyway, coming up in here twice now, I've been glassing over into this little clear-cut old burn area that's growing up pretty good. A little clearing. So I figured, well, I'm going to yank the cameras, hike up to that clearing, and uh, just see what kind of sign we have. But I'm following in deer and elk trails, mostly deer, and uh, get just crest up into this gorgeous little clearing right here and glance around just kind of scanning and there to my right right there is an elk shed <laughs> happy days happy days and uh, so yeah i'm gonna go take a look at it in here it's a gorgeous little clearing right here that uh this perfect spot and all this clear cut from this I'd already seen in the maps is all uh, real dark timber, nice steep draw. And I know from past experience that they head back over this way to the east for about three miles. Uh, a lot of elk travel. But I never hiked over on this side. But now I'm going to start making a point of it. <laughs> See what we got here. Looks like uh, hard white. Yeah, hard white last year's brownie. That's nice. Nobody's been here in a year. So just a uh, small six or is this six? Nah, small five, I'm sorry. Rag five. So, puts me on a board fairly early. I'm gonna take some ATLs and then uh, carry on. See if I find another one. It's been a few minutes. I'm walking this same little meadow out here and uh, just, just checking it out, back and forth through here, see what else, see, try to find some trails. I'm definitely going to get a camera up in here. And lo and behold, got myself another elk shed. It's already getting a little happy right now. Bad part is I think I'm going to have to make a, a stash pile because I plan on diving down into this big canyon. And I was going to do a big monster hike today. Still will, but uh, I'm not going to pack elk sheds down into the canyon and then back up past where I'm at now. I gotta go about a <coughs> mile and a half or so back to my uh, north uh, to get back to the rig but there's a road above me about one mile so I can uh, stash them here then all I have to do is shuttle them back up the hill. Anyway let's take a look at this. So, this is uh looks like quite possibly well no it's definitely bigger than this one I think another five point it sure seems like it's got heavier mass definitely a bigger bull older bull um let's say at least hard white maybe two years old by the looks of a good mass though uh broken off he's definitely got the age to have been a six point but he's busted off there right above g4 so i'll take some atls i just found a lot better mass, same side of course. Um, I'm sure he was a six point, busted off. Got a little something wanting to fork out on his G4, which I have seen extra points come out there before in this area. And then my little dinker. Both of them, no, I'm gonna push it to more like these are two years old, uh, not even last year's. So I like that. It's been a couple years since anybody's walked in this area. Walk through this little clearing. I was glassing on, on this log here in that rock there down into this little bedding area. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Let's pace it off. <laughs> Walk right by them. One, two, three, four, five, 
I was seven yards away from that little dink. And that thing is old, old. I'm gonna leave him up here, but uh, that is a compact little four point now. It almost looks like a dink. I mean, I mean like a tiny little coos deer or something. I don't know. <laughs> little Mexican mule deer. I mean, look at that. This thing is cute. So anyway. Leave that up for the rats to chew on. Maybe a pack rat will take it home and decorate his little nest. Been loving this. I'm still in the same clearing. I'm within 75 yards where I found the first one. And I've got another old rag. <coughs> old. About the same time frame. I mean, maybe an even older, but three or four years old chalk. But uh, I'm just real slowly walking through all this stuff here's that clearing right here and uh, it's definitely a perfect little hole I mean it's just it's so much fun when you are sitting there looking at a clearing and uh, just you can look at elk country and realize man that's that's a nice bench right there that's a good spot and much like that uh, video bench full of sheds you can just tell when something looks right, you go into it and it's loaded up with deer sheds. Well, this one's loaded up with elk sheds. Sat there and walked this little 75-yard bench. It's really about 75 by 30, give or take. And that's all the size of this. I found these three and a white old chalk deer. Hot dang, that ain't bad. So, I keep jumping all these grouse left and right. Oh, there goes. I was trying to sneak up on him, but uh, there's a pile of grouse back here. I've seen them quite a bit in September, but uh, I'm gonna have to remember this area back in here. Lots of them. Crap for today. Ended up getting two cameras up on that bench and finding four sheds total. Uh, three elk that I brought back. So nothing spectacular. That's an old chalker. That one's probably two to three years old and that one I'm gonna say three to four years uh, that one's really a chalker and that's hard white but uh, it was a fun trip nonetheless got some valuable scouting done which was good I did get last night in, at FedEx the two cutty links that I've been waiting on forever the satellite links so I gotta go back get them registered figure out how to use them and then with my um, the rest of the cutty links that I have. I'm going to get those set up next weekend, hopefully, or at least a couple of them. That I wanted to get back in that area that I've been uh, my main elk area, but I just didn't see a whole lot of point of tracking back in there, setting up some more cameras, and then having to go back next weekend when I go to hook up that uh, cell link, providing I can even find cell service there. Uh, here, I was able to find cell service in a couple areas, although there's not a lot of elk. I've seen some really good elk, 350 class couple non-typicals so there's just not very many pretty nomadic but i do plan on getting one of the cell links here and then i've got two other areas hopefully uh, i can find cell service there you guys have a good weekend and we will check catch back with you next week